It's real tomorrow. My car is crypt and I'm back with another video. Today is the first episode of Vet Talk, baby. So Vet Talk, I'm gonna be answering you guys' questions. So if you have any questions about anything, comment below and let me know. First episode, so we're gonna get it started. The first question is from Mondo the Great. Huge shout out to him. He's been a supporter. He's been rocking with the Double R family for a long time now. So huge shout out to you. The question is, he wants to know the good, the ups and downs of being a real estate agent. So me, you guys who are a part of Double R family, you know I'm gonna be very honest, and this is solely my opinion. So if you are a real estate agent or if you're not a real estate agent, you feel differently. That's on you. Make your own video. Make you make you a vet talk. So. Let's get right to it. Um, the ups about being a real estate agent is, and it's, it's really infinite money. I mean, if you're willing to put in the work, you can make as much money as you want to make. You just have to find the leads. You have to get the leads. You have to get the clients that's looking to buy or sell a house. And there's no cap on how much money you can make. So that's the great thing. But with that being said, just understand that you're not going to get 100% of the money if you're just a regular real estate agent. You have to pay fees and stuff. So you have to pay a fee to be a real estate agent uh, through Embraer and all that stuff if you're in Illinois. You also have to pay fees to the office. And then with the commission split, your office, your manager broker, who, whoever you're under, they're gonna get a cut of the money too. So you guys wanna make sure you keep that in mind. I know a lot of times people may think that you make all this buku money and, I mean, you can make buku money. Some people do make buku money. There's not very, honestly, there's not very many multi-million dollar real estate agents a lot of times they got it from investing versus being a real estate agent so don't always believe what you be saying on tv and on social media because a lot of that a lot of time those don't be you know very true or it's all about perception it's all about what you perceive so those are two things also dealing with people this is a customer-based business customer service you have to have good customer service and you're gonna to run to good people, you're gonna to run to bad people. So it's all about how you play it, but you always wanna make sure you be professional at all times because some people wanna be the wrong way or say or do things that you dislike. But um, one of my biggest things that I would tell you guys is, is business. Don't use emotional in, don't use emotions in business because it will get you every time. Don't do it. Don't do it. I had to learn the hard way. You know, during, during this process, you're going to go, you're going to run into people that's not the greatest, that you really don't agree with. And I, my best advice for you to do is just probably tell them that they, they, it's, they should probably find someone else to work with because everybody's personalities don't click together. So you want to be well rounded. You want to kind of have a people's person personality, but sometimes you're going to run into those people that they just never want to be happy. So no matter what you do, I mean, is it really worth the money? So, you always got to make sure you keep that in mind. Um, what else? Honestly, it's, it's, it's great. I love to help the people. When they get those kids at the end of the day, it's like a great feeling. So I, that's um, one of the reasons why I really enjoy it. And then also a good thing is you you meet a lot of different people. You meet a lot of different people. And sometimes you guys may become into friends. You might, you know, reach uh, meet someone that's really... That really likes you. That really takes a liking to you. And then you guys may do bigger things. You may do some deals together. So that's always a good thing. Um, it's just a lot of different stuff with being a real estate agent. You have to deal with a lot of stuff. It's just not you and the client, though, also. Don't forget about that. You have you. You have your client. You have the other uh, agent. You have their client. You have the lawyer. You have the inspector. You have the attorney. Yeah, I mean, you just have so many other variables would be with being a real estate agent that you guys want to make sure that you again don't use emotion in business i had to learn it the hard way and then you're also going to run into those times where you may feel that you're going to be emotional because you know someone it may be a friend's family friend of the family or something like that that you know that's going to buy a house or sell a house and they go with somebody else so remember cut the emotions off you're going to run into this it's part of the process just want to think about it if you do good business you want to think it think about it as it was their loss not yours you're not going to make all the money you're not going to overnight just make millions of dollars that's not how it works a lot of times people may think you make all this money being a real estate agent but when you become one you understand what i'm saying a lot of people may think oh he got the vet now well, he must be selling a lot of houses and all that it's really i got the vet from investing investing got me the vet investing in real estate got me the vet versus me being a real estate agent it's just you know helps along the way and you know so you guys want to make sure you keep that in mind um what else can i say i just love that you're free 
everything is on you now. If you're not, if you're not ready to go out there and get this money or find these clients, then this is not for you. So you guys want to make sure you think about that too. Just because you see someone else doing it and they're successful, it doesn't mean you're going to do the same thing. It does just, that's just not how life works. For instance, the YouTube channel, I thought that I was going to do this and that and that. It just works. It's going a slow process, but we're going to get there. Um, we're almost at the thousand mark for the subscribers. So huge shout out to everybody who subscribed to the channel. And if you aren't subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Um, that's pretty much it about being a real estate agent. You're going to also, oh, more stuff. You're also going to meet agents that you and agents don't get along very well because they do business different than you do business but you want to make sure you don't use your emotion because it'll get you i'm trying to tell you i have to learn this i had to learn this so i'm trying to give you guys this information of what i've learned for from the you know four was it, four years i've been a real estate agent so you guys i'm just going to give you everything i got i want to be in a real estate agent it's kind of fun when you meet the right people and you start getting the vibe you want to have the right team it's really about building the right team if you got a good lender and you have a good attorney and you have a good inspector you can kind of you know y'all can kind of build off each other um but also you don't want to run into people that's going to waste your time again like i said before you're going to run into a lot of people that want you to do all this stuff and they don't really want to pay and it's just it's just a lot of variables with being a real estate agent so you guys want to make sure you think about that before you just step in the field um what i say quit your job and do it. it depends on you it depends on the person it depends on how much you're going to work it are you going to really go out and get these leads are you going to go knock on we've done it all knock on doors go meet people go to networking event everything we have done and anything that you can think of uh send postcards pretty much all of that stuff over a while if you continue to do it people are going to start to know you they're going to you know refer people to you and you just want to make sure you do good business because if you do bad business the bad the bad travel faster than the good as we all know you guys want to make sure you keep that in mind also this is just the first episode of vet talk i want to chop it up with the double r family a little bit i'm going to be dropping these videos i'm going to try to start uploading more because we about to hit this a thousand subscribers i just need y'all to tell a friend and tell a friend join double r family but when i drop these videos make sure you view them and watch even if you don't want to listen to me just put it on play turn the music down i mean turn the uh, volume down and do it like that but i hope you guys enjoyed the video for anyone who's looking to buy or sell any property, you can always email me at roamshousereviews at gmail.com. Also, make sure you comment below and let me know the next question that you guys want me to answer, as well as tell a friend to tell a friend to join the Double R family. It's real to Rome. I'll see you guys on the next one. It's real to Rome, and I'm gone.